the Pentagon is assessing the validity and impacts of sensitive and highly classified material that was leaked on various social media sites. The leaked material contains intelligence on China, the Middle East, Israel's agency Mossad and U.S. support for Ukraine. The scope of this leak is growing alongside potential consequences. One of the documents that was found leaked on social media on Friday was described as showing maps of Ukraine and positions of forces there. But on top of that, there may be more than 100 similarly damaging secret documents within this breach. According to reporting by The New York Times, this includes sensitive briefing slides related to China, the Indo-Pacific, the Middle East and terrorism. Lawmakers are anxious to learn more. They mentioned that there were slides. Obviously, this was electronic and it was marked by the Pentagon Joint Staff. That's the type of document that it said it was. The Pentagon has said they're legitimate, but also altered. The Department of Defense is investigating this. We just don't know. Is this a leak? Is this a hack? How did it happen? How do we prevent it from happening again? So similar questions there from both sides, but less agreement over the White House's long-awaited self-analysis of its handling of the Afghanistan withdrawal. The summary largely blames decisions made during former President Trump's administration. Here's Republican Congressman Mike Gallagher on Sunday Morning Futures. Trump did not box them in into abandoning Bagram, which was a massive mistake. So this blaming of Trump, this passing of the buck to the previous administration, we've seen it time and time again. Democratic Congresswoman Debbie Dingell acknowledged that President Biden was the one in office, but said that she does not want to point the finger. He was the commander in chief then, but let's be really clear that policy did begin under previous administration. And instead of pointing fingers, which I don't want to do, I want to say, what are we going to do to keep ourselves strong? What do we need to be doing? This report was released just as President Biden was departing for Camp David on Thursday on the eve of a holiday weekend when press the White House says that they were not trying to bury anything.